And then one last thing I want to cover, but getting into the topic of basically, you know, there's one particular person, you know, talking about, I give money to the homeless. Okay. See, I may not know how you feel, but I can see what you are feeling because see, here's the thing, you know, it's not, you don't care about the homeless people. It's not authentic. You don't care about my dog. You don't care. I believe you probably don't, don't care about anything, you know? See, when you do something genuinely, you don't expect anything back. And I mean at all. And I'm not saying that the homeless people were going to give you anything back. But just the fact that you even had to mention the fact that you give money to the homeless. You were expecting some kind of some kind of praise for it, I guess. But in actuality, you don't know that they're in that state for a reason. You're actually getting in the way. You're interfering in something that needs to be. Something that has to play out that way. Now, I can understand if you want to give somebody money. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't have any expectations back. And I'm talking about not money. It could be even in the way where you just have to tell somebody about it. To get, to get some type of praise out of it. Wow, you did a good thing. But was it a good thing? Are you sure it was a good thing? See, some people do things just because they think they're doing a good thing where they should do it because it's a good thing. If you are doing something just because you think it's a good thing, you're giving your energy away. You do things because you genuinely want to do it and you feel like it's something that you want to do, not something that you should do because you think it's right. Matter of fact, this is how people get possessed this way. This is how spiritual possessions happen. <laughs> see, if I see a homeless man and I genuinely, like let's say I just talked to him and I've, I've wanted to get, I'll give it to him, but I won't, I, I, I'll forget that it ever happened. I won't even remember it. That's where you don't have any expectations back. I'm not going to go home and tell my girl, I gave this homeless guy $10. What am I telling her that for? Because it's, it's coming from ego. It ain't authentic. And if you were very consciously involved, you would know that there's a reason why that person is in that state. There's a reason why you're in the state of being that you're in right now. Just having to say, I gave money to a homeless man shows that it ain't authentic. You're, you're looking for some type of Gratitude, uh, uh, some type of praise from people. Oh, good job. You did good. You know, that, that was so nice of you. Some people think they're doing the right thing when they talk about conspiracy theories. They put out videos talking about conspiracy theories when in actuality what they're doing is promoting the conspiracy theory. Not knowing. They're doing it for free. You're promoting the agenda. And notice how when something is, is, is forgotten about, it'll be reminded. And it's up to you to feed that energy. <laughs> to partake or participate or be a part of that energy. It ain't your energy. You didn't put that out there. So it was put out there for you and it's up to you to be a participant. Participant in that energy. Part of it. You are not it. That wasn't your energy. You didn't stop. You're like a follower on a train, the conductor, and you're being led, misled because you're following rather than being your own conductor. You're the conductor and you have your energies behind you. This is why when I listen to people, you can listen to people and you listen to them as guides, right? Guides, but you, you, you come out with your own route because you see, we're all here on a trip. Literally, you don't have to be high, but we're all high actually. Not not all of us, but, you know, we're all on a trip here. It's not necessarily where you have to do a drug to be on a trip. We're all on a trip. Then you have the DMT in your in your mind, naturally, dimethyl trip to mean, okay? We're all on a trip. 
We have our own individual journeys. But we are all going back to the same place. Not to say that we're all going to meet up in the same place. No. That means that we all go back to one. See, we are all one connect. It's We're all one. It's just that we're all having our own individual experiences. We're just fractalized into many different pieces and to have many different experiences. Poor, rich, whatever it may be. Play your part. That's why they say you're here on a stage, right? You're in a stage in your life. Play your part. Don't play somebody else's part. Again, I could see anything in my immediate surroundings. Homeless man. What do you want to do? Blame the government? Make a video about the government not helping the homeless man? It has nothing to do with you. We can look at this as deep as possible. Where you're not human. You're participating in these things. So let's say, for example, we're here, but you got to play your game. You play your game. You ain't homeless, so play your part as a middle class, whatever it is. And if you want to be homeless or you want to be rich, it's up to you. It's all up to you. You got to create it. But it, it's all going to come down to going within and figuring out these programs that you can pretty much change once you're aware of them. Integration. Putting these pieces of the puzzle together. Seeing how these mechanics work. All you need to do out here is, you see, I do research, but to learn how these mechanics, the mechanics of things work. We can go on a deeper level as far as when it comes to dogs and humans. Does it really matter what you're eating? Does it really matter if you're fat or skinny? Does it, it doesn't matter. If, you, if it matters to you, it will matter. You materialize it. But here's the thing, though. Just think about this. There's a chemistry to everything. There's a chemistry. So, knowing this, everything is energy, frequency, vibration. Okay? See, you're feeding your vessel. You are hardwired to the vessel. I'm not telling you to be vegan. I'm not telling you to be a meat eater. I'm not telling you to do anything. You do whatever you want. Whatever I tell you is, is going to stimulate you to do your own research. See, you can eat whatever you want. Do what thou wilt. It's just, do you know how to be a true magician and, and really try? See, the whole concept of prayer, we forgot. You've been told how the concept of prayer works when it's not the way it works. Another misled. You're, being follow, you're, you're following an energy that is misleading you because you can't see your way. That's why you, if you find your way, you can go your way. But instead, you want to follow other fucking energies and be a part of it. You forgot the concept of prayer. Prayer has nothing to do with having an external energy source blessing your food. You bless your food. You transmute the energies. Because the vessel that you're operating in, okay, is hard. Or, or, or it's it's very, that, that, that emotional energy is very complex for the body to process. A lot, first of all, you're working through your own shit. You're adding more shit in there. See, dogs, they don't judge. They can work. Dog, dogs are unconditional love. As consciousness, you also have the ability to keep it moving. See, what you did, whether it's stopping to comment, bad or good, you decided to stop and participate. Whether it's bad or good. And, and listen, bad or good is basically the same shit. You know why? Because either bad or good comment, I'm still feeding off of that. But don't forget, I put out an energy... That is nourishing people, which is why I don't see malnutrition in my environment. I don't see the malnutritious in, in my life. But I did attract this into my reality. There's always going to be a reflection on that part. But that's up to me to know that, not to be misled. So I am, hey, listen, I am in appreciation. I am in much appreciation, much gratitude. Because everything that comes in my in my waking existence, whether it's favorable or unfavorable, I'm going to welcome it. You know why? Because if it's unfavorable, I'll find a way to know why it's there and then how I can make it favorable for me. And if it's favorable, stay in that appreciation so I can get more of it. Judge others. You're judging yourself because it is a reflect. It may not be a direct reflection. But there is something that manifests that into your reality, whether it's your, if, if it's personally or in a video or whatnot, which is why even watching a video 
you're entertaining it. Okay? Or is it entertaining you? Entering an energy. And you are participating it. Because, and you're not only participating it and paying with interest. I mean, I'm sorry, paying it with attention, which is worth more than anything, but you're paying it with interest because you're interested in the topic. But now what did you do? There was an energy that you decided to partake in and participate in. You know how I know? Because you ain't even really go deep into it. I talk nothing of veganism, nothing. Nothing, and, I, and there's an egg in the video. There's no fucking vegan. Vegans don't eat eggs. I eat eggs. I eat meat from time to time. But I do stress the fact of how to manage that. Watch my previous videos. Obviously, you've been watching my videos, but you want to watch the one where you want to put in like some type of negativity, right? Which is all good. You're, you have the right to do that. You're entitled to do that. And I know what, and, and, and me just putting myself out there, <laughs> I'm actually in jeopardy of having that happen. Tell you this, I believe in always choosing my battles wisely and shit like that. But um, I work with, with with my fellow human because we're we are all here inhabiting, or the vessel inhabiting us, whatever you want to look at it as. But you got to be the one controlling it. Much love and appreciation to all. Like, share, and subscribe. And we will talk soon.